So tonight, autopsy results reveal the killer used an axe and knives to kill family members in rural Clackamas County. Investigators say Mark Gago killed his parents, his girlfriend, and their nine-month-old baby at the home they all shared. Another woman escaped. Deputy shot and killed Gago as he tried to then kill his girlfriend's eight-year-old daughter, who survived. Her mother, though, Shana Schweitzer, is greatly missed. Our Amy Frazier spoke with a relative today. Amy? Well, today I spoke with Shayna Schweitzer's half-sister. She lives in Idaho, but arrived here today. She tells me she's absolutely shocked by what happened. The last day of her life, Schweitzer updated her profile picture on Facebook. That night, her boyfriend, Mark Gago, who's in the photo, would murder nearly everyone in their home. Her half-sister says they'd been together for more than two years. They met because Gago was a caretaker for Schweitzer's dying mother. The couple had a baby named Olivia nine months ago. They were living with his parents along with Schweitzer's eight-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. Now, many years ago, we're told Schweitzer escaped a domestic violence situation in another separate relationship and sometimes worried about her past. I asked her if she felt safe where she was, and she said that she she said that Mark was uh, safe. She was safe with him. That was probably before Olivia was born. She told me that. The sisters last spoke by phone on Christmas. She says there was no indication from their conversation that anything was wrong. In fact, Schweitzer said they had a nice, quiet Christmas. The sister says she has no idea why this tragedy happened. She says Schweitzer was sweet, soft-spoken, and a good mom. The surviving eight-year-old will now live with her dad, who lives in Tacoma. Back to you.